um, about how many hip hop legends have died since last December. It was like nine of them, right? It's just just mm. crazy. I mean, I was just thinking about some. I was thinking about Houdini. Like, damn, how the hell can Houdini go on tour without ecstasy just to get some money? Yeah, right. Like, how, how, like, how, how do you, how do you do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's sad, man, to see all these rap legends go, man. We, we definitely have to start taking better care of ourselves. I, I think, I, think, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to jump in, but one thing that stuck out to me: he's only 57 years old. Now, think about mm -hmm. it. I think when we think about hip hop legends. Because uh, hip-hop is still a very young genre of music, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're starting to, as we get older, we're starting to see our icons, our heroes, our mm -hmm. favorite MCs and DJs and producers start to pass on. Uh, mm -hmm. But 57 years old is is is, is young. young. But he, he it was it's young, but he has some health complications, and you know, saying sometimes mm -hmm. that happens uh, at, at at earlier ages than that. Um, but it's it's kind of weird to start to see like our our legends. Either like come out on stage and be like, "Damn, like mm -hmm. wow, yeah, you're you're getting up there in age, aren't you?" And, but that, that that reminds you, like, "Damn, I'm getting, I'm getting up there, I'm getting up there, I'm getting yeah, up there in, in there age. too." It, it's and, kind and, of a and good also too, man, just and just to kind of see people pass away, man, it's 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 weird. I mean, it's gonna be days, Jason. It's gonna be days when we we get the news, like you know, yeah, another this hip hop icon is like, I grew up with the album mm -hmm. and this and that, right. and that gone is. Man, bow wow, so you got bow that wow early did. Wave. They'd be like, bow wow did. We're gonna be like, no. <laughs> you get that wave, right? You get that first wave of the people who died because of the overdose, and uh, like early, like that twenty curse of twenty seven kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you get in that later wave where you get people who actually got old but didn't take care of themselves. Yeah. And I feel like for like a lot of rock and roll types, like not early, early rock and roll, because I was even earlier, but like the heart of rock and roll, mm -hmm. like that period was like the late nineties, early two thousands. And then there was a period of time where it seemed like every wrestler you you knew and loved like died in like the 2010s. Yeah. But because it was that was just the age that 40 to 60 40. range. That's where everybody was. And now we're there with like the 80s hip hop legends, early 90s hip hop legends. Even yep. they're getting up to that point. So yeah, I think it is going to be one of those things where it's just like another one. Because I remember the one that stands out for me because he's the most famous person I've probably ever met and talked to face to face. But Fife, Diane, almost exactly a year to the day when I met him on Lawrence's show mm. Uh, mm. and was there with Ethan Shaw and took the photo for Ethan, but he, I was trying not to fanboy, so I'm the intern and I say no. And I was like, Ethan, no one's going to believe me that I, I, I actually met Fife. He's like, I'll, yeah. I'll go to the death for you. you. And I still have that photo. You did a good job. Nice. I, I'll take that to my grave. I'll take nice. that to my grave. So shout out to I Ethan gotta, Shaw as well. I, yeah. I got to say something. I, I gotta say something I never said on air before, right? Um, so I was in Atlanta this one time, right? <laughs> uh oh, I need, another I need one of these Atlanta again. stories again. Oh man, I was a, I was big, listen, I was I was I was big time. I was big time in my head. I was an urban legend in my head at the time, right? I was an urban legend in my head, right? I was I was doing it big at this moment in my life, right? <laughs> and uh, and I'm in Atlanta, and I'm getting my hair cut, and right in front of me. Waiting to get his haircut as Fife, and I don't say nothing. Oh, wow. right? oh really? No. Yeah, really? sitting right in front I, I of me. I've heard the story before. I know because I was it, I was wrong, and I too so busy I never telling those talk, stripper stories from Atlanta. I never wanted I know, to talk right? about it because I was I was wrong. I was wrong. I should have been like, "Hey, Fife," or whatever. Uh -huh. But I was too busy being cool. You know, yeah, I did there. the same thing. I did the same thing. I was too to busy. Be I mean, and I'm not even joking. I mean, yeah, like job. directly in front of me. And you know how uh, barbershops aren't that wide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's just usually a space to walk between the barbers and seats. So he's mm -hmm. right there in front of me waiting. And I don't be like, just, hey, man, I love your music, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. Because I'm just trying to be too cool for school or whatever. And I shouldn't have been like that. And I apologize oh, to Five Dog post-mortem post for me being an ass. Surprisingly, I, I, I think I've. Ken, we've met people when we're doing the show from Lance Briggs to Olin Cruz to uh, many of many of uh, athletes or whatever like that, right? Surprisingly, as long as you're cool with them, they're gonna be cool with you. And I yeah. come across that even like some of the musicians was I was when I first out of college, interning, trying to get into the uh, music business, and, and actually was in the music business for a few years. I uh, was doing that. I met come across quite a few people, and as long as you like. Respectful and cool to them, just like, hey, brother, I, I, I love what you do. They can be like, hey, thanks, and keep it pushing, man. You could, you could, you can talk to. I haven't, I can't remember if I ever came across somebody that was an ass. 
I don't think I've ever really come across a celebrity. Dude, I've made Subway sandwiches on the West Side for Crucial Conflict. And, and, and they, they, they probably made they probably made subway sandwiches too. <laughs> I'm gonna ass, I'm gonna ass, I'm gonna ass, I'm gonna ass. I apologize. They were really nice to me. 